Welcome to Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. My friend Arnie here is going to be starting a five gallon tank and we are going to help him jumpstart the nitrogen cycle. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a sponge filter from him and we're going to start running it in this tank here. We've also got some water sprite for him that we're going to plant. And this water sprite here, that is a great filter for your tank. It really sucks in the ammonia. So this sponge filter here has bounced around to a couple of tanks to help cycle it. And this is what I normally do. I take this established sponge filter from the established tank, drop it into the new tank, and that helps jumpstart the nitrogen cycle. Now Arnie's tank is just a five gallon. This thing's up to 75 gallons, so it's a little big, so we're gonna try something and see if it works. This sponge filter right here connects to the hood on Arnie's five gallon fish tank. Now, I'm not sure this is going to work, but we're going to try it. We're going to leave this into our fully cycled 90 gallon here. And after a couple days, we're going to put it in Arnie's tank. Of course, we're going to test it before uh, we add fish to Arnie's tank. But we're going to just see how it goes here. Now, it should just sink. And there it goes. We'll leave it in there for two days. We'll put it in Arnie's tank and we'll see if that works. So I recommend using the Freshwater Master Test Kit. It tests for pH, ammonia, nitrates, and nitrites. And we've used that for Arnie's tank here. He had an uh, ammonia spike that went down, turned into nitrites. Now he's just got a little bit of trace of nitrates in there, so we know we're ready to add the fish, which is what we've done. So this is Bandit, uh, the Mitchell's new Half Moon Beta. Welcome to your new home, Bandit. Join me next week for another edition of Friday Fish Facts.